G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. I'm fishing uh, Pacific Harbour, just the canals on Bribey Island. Just gonna chase brim, basically fishing pontoons. Brim's the main target, we'll take whatever comes along. Just fishing lightly weighted plastics down the backs of these, uh, these pontoons on a falling tide, so a couple of days after the new moon, uh, it's well and truly mid spring now, pretty much late spring actually, so uh, yeah, let's see how I'm doing it. Bloody hell, they love short striking here. Oh, eat it. Now here's a hot tip for you. Skip cast under catamarans. Brim loves sitting under there. This is usually a good spot to find fish. There's not a lot of current, so it's not that they're here for ambush, it's more there's a heap of floating vegetation, so they'll find cover. They'll take shelter in the shade during the day. Sometimes they're under this sort of stuff. Realistically, we're out of the flow, so out of the flow, no go. Bit of run, bit of fun. Here we go, finally. What's that? Little brim, tiny brim. All right, by no means a bloody giant, but a uh, little brim, first one for this session. One thing I've noticed, uh, I've had a little bit of experience up in these canals, you know, over the years, since ABT been running tournaments and stuff, and a few other companies up this way. We have, I have fished these canals a bit, but see that fine sort of road base substrate behind me? The fish seem to hang on that more, you know, like it's easy to burrow into if there's a food source in there, worms, some sort of mollusks, you know, crustaceans and stuff. They seem to uh, seem to relate to it pretty well. So there's there's a couple of types of different rock in here and these banks that have got this finer stuff. Uh, for me, it definitely seems to hold a few more numbers. So I'm basically just focusing on that. I'm still working the back of the pontoons, the shadow, you know, the, the structure that's there but it's these banks that have that finer rock base all along them. Seem to hold a few more fish, so I'm gonna keep sticking with that and hopefully we get a few more here now. There we go, second fish for the session. Same deal, uh, just lightly, lightly weighted uh, BP50, Eco Gear Aqua Brim Prawn. I got other baits there, I got gulps and bloody maracu, I got all sorts, but you know, this bait is just a confidence bait. And when it just produces time after time, like it's hard to change. But uh, same deal. Look at the substrate this guy's on. He's on that smaller rock. There's thicker rock right there. And if you look down that way, it gets to that thick rock again. The pontoons sitting out in front of that finer, you know, substrate. They seem to hold fish. So, like I said, I've had a little bit of experience up here, but that's always a pattern I've seemed to find, and you know, it's working for me this session. It's hard to see, but see those little sandy patches in that gravel, in that finer substrate? They're little melon holes, that's where the fish are coming up and feeding on that high tide, digging in that stuff, so then they're dropping out to the closest pontoon, so it's not really rocket science, like it, it makes sense. For here anyway, it seems to make sense to me. If I find this stuff, find this you know, rubbly, finer substrate, the pontoons adjacent seem to hold fish, so it's working now. And, Hopefully we keep getting a couple. There we go, third one for the session. Still my head in, this bloody wind. These pontoons with cables. Here's a hot tip. If you can see a pontoon with two big white poles either end, there's no cables on it. If you see a pontoon without two big white poles either end, there's bloody cables. And they are <laughs> doing my head in. But that's the third one. Uh, same deal, uh, there's a bit of that Finer substrate, just on that edge. That little thinner rubble, finer rubble. They seem to like it. Every pontoon, that's where they've been sitting. So, there's a little pattern for you. Pacific Harbour Canals. If you need a couple, easy few. Find that stuff on the low tide.
Yes. Oh, he's shaking his head. He's all right. He's all right. Where is he? Where are you going? Where are you going? He's right up tight, that guy, right in that shallow bit, right at the back. What are you doing, buddy? Yeah, he's just a little brimbo. Tell you what, a bit of wind in a kayak makes for difficult fishing. number four for the session just tight in that little tiny bit of a bit of a gap between the rock wall and that pontoon back there only a foot or two deep but uh he was up there doing his thing at that little bp50 i'm um, getting uh running out of time here sun's setting so i'm gonna start fishing fast start powering back hit this uh hit this last run with the breeze push me along so see if i can't get a couple quick ones before it's too dark to film dog don't do it to me now Please don't do it to me now. Oh, eat it. Oh, how? How do you not that go? How do you not get that in you? How? Oh, he took the bait. Oh, look at that. Clean took the bait off the hook. Yes, get out of there. <gasps> Again! How? No way. He took the bait again. You kidding me? That's two casts. Two baits. That's unheard of, man. That doesn't happen. Oh, fuck. Oh, bitten off. Another missed fish. Oh, good fish. Good fish. Get out of there. Oh, he's going shallow. Oh, get out, get out, get out, get out. Where's he going? Where's he going? I don't know where he's going. Where's he going? Where's he going? He's going back. He's going back here. Where's he going? Oh, good fish. Steer him out, steer him out, that's it. Steer him out, steer him out. Yeah, good fish. Keep coming, keep coming. Don't go back in. Don't go back in. Losing light here. I don't know how good this footage will be. Good fish. Yeah, nice. Alright, this light's cooked. There you go, another nice brim. Man, I've done it tough. I've dead set had two plastics ripped clean off the hook. Like smashed it. I've had one pop me off, like straight up bite off. Not a weak knot, pop something. There you go. And this is the start of a new session. I figured I'd compile another session onto that first session. So this is number two. Um, same deal, just fishing the canals, Pacific Harbour. Uh, major difference is I'm out of brim prawns. Uh, I've gone to Maracu crab. Uh, I've changed the jig head, fishing a uh, dragon jig head now. It's uh, best suited for that smaller little profile of the, uh, the crab. And it's doing the same thing. It's about a sixteenth of an ounce, lightly weighted, four pound litre, hitting the backs of these pontoons. Uh, I've got to run out tide. Yeah, hopefully I can just repeat what I've been doing. Just pack a few brims, so let's see how we go. Oh, you had it. Swimming off with it. Missed him. Look at that. 
First cast of the crab, he's all over it. Where's the fish? You seen any brim? Any brim? Got any brim there? Oh, he had it. That's the problem with kayaking and having it. He's got, oh, he had it again. He's got it. Oh, you're kidding, aren't you? Little fish. He should have had that. Oh, he had it again. He had it again. That's five times. That's the difference that, uh, he's got it again. Oh, little fish. But those amino acids, they just keep them coming back. Oh, this thing is tiny. But he's chewing that crab to pieces. Yeah. That just proves those amino acids, those fish, they just want to eat it. A little fish, like it's taking no legs off as a little fish, but he is keen. Yeah, oh shit. Oh, shit. Far out. That was a good fish. Ooh, far out. How did he not get that hook in him? He crunched it. Far out, man. I can't get much tighter. That's four pounds. It'll pop. Oh, again. Oh, and again, they're just not eating the bait. There we go. Oh, you're kidding, aren't you? There we go. Now that the drag too tight on, I'll probably put them off. Finally got a hook up. Finally. They're eating the crab. They just—I think it's because it's a—it's a big bait. It's—it's—it's it's, it's not profiled like a, a prawn bait or a or a bait fish like a, a minnow. It's a—it's just a big bait. They just can grab wherever they want. And hook sets aren't the greatest. It's only a little guy. Finally, no, he's all right. He's a. Legal fish come uh, come comp day. There we go. That's the first one for the session. It started out tough. I've um I've had a few hits. I'm not getting the conversion rate I'm after. One big fish peeled some string. Just didn't set a hook on it. And again, this guy like it's either he's having a few goes coming back for those amino acids, or you know him and a couple of mates are having a crack at it. But finally got one to stick. That's the maracu crab. You know, some of you might know it as the Mushu crab, but uh, yeah, it's getting a few bites. Hopefully we can get a big one, make a big one stick, man. They're killing me. That's the things you see when you're in the water. It's like a Bass Nation boat back there. Not sure if it's one of the prize boats or if it's uh, yeah, don't know. That sun's a killer, man. Check it. Can't even see what's going on. But the things you see when you're trying to catch a brim, eh? <laughs> oh, tell you what, I hate these bloody cables. I definitely prefer the pontoons with pylons. These floaters with cables just don't seem to produce the fish. But any pontoon on a corner has the potential to hold a couple. Just gets a bit of flow. Gets a bit more bait coming past it. 
You can see the wind's pushing the tide right up against this one. It should produce, if I'm lucky. And what I find brings the brim on is a little bit of Phil Collins. Old mate's cranking the tunes. And the brim, I don't mind a bit of Phil. that happened it was in his mouth it's got to hit him hard with his crab profile like I said they can just grab any part of that bait I think if they grab it you just got to hit them you know like it's presented perfectly still like just got to hit them We had it. Come on. Far out. Palmer Stone Passage, crocodiles. Three of them right there. That's our little family of crocs. There we go. Another little rat turd muncher. Probably not really worth recording, but worth noting where I got it from. Just another pontoon on the corner of the canals. All these little, there's one, two, three that you could probably say are on the corner as it turns the corner or goes up into another little canal system. The corners, they get current, they got fish. Not a huge one this time around, but you know, worth focusing a bit of attention. Just say that little crab, running out of light. Hope they get something decent. G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here again. This is the third and final session out of the kayak here up in uh, Pacific Harbour Canals, Bribey Island. Uh, so first session I fished uh, Eco Gear Brim Prawn, second session was Maracu Crabs. This session I'm going to stick with some gulp minnows, just three inch uh, bait fish profile and see if they make a difference to convert, converting a few of these bigger bites. So yeah, going to head out, got a couple out before sunset, it's top of the tide, just turned, just starting to run out. So. See if we can't catch a few. What have we got here? A little flathead or something. A little tiny bit. Not the start I was hoping for, but it's a start. Yeah, it's been tough, but uh, I'm gonna keep on at it. Hopefully we get some bigger models of these guys. They just don't like these floaters. Every floater has been terrible. Here we go, we've got a bit more run. Bit of wind pushing onto these ones. This looks promising. Come on. Oh, he had it. He had it. He had it again. It looked like it was going to have a fish. It looked like it. Come on, come back. Damn it. Oh, how do they do that? bait off again. How do they do that? Oh man, just get a hook in ya. Come on. 
Everything said fish. Wind, current, pylons. They need those pylons. They hate the floaters. Everything I've learned fishing up here at the moment, like this last couple of sessions, is they want those pylons, they want those poles in the water. All the floating pontoons with the cables are just it's not on them. Oh. Yes, finally. Oh, little guy. He's alright. It's not huge though. Man, I've been doing it tough. There's a second fish for this third session. Just on the gold pumpkin seed, three inch minnow. Every fish I'm finding, they're off pontoons with pylons. You know, they're attached to those poles. Any of the free floaters, just don't want to borrow it. The fish aren't there. But finally, half decent, but yeah, prefer bigger. Yeah, I'll take it. There you go. Ooh, it's a bit better. That's a better one. Mm, it's a better one. That's the one we want. Oh, he's going. Every pontoon, more structure, got pylons, the fish are on it. Oh, it's a bloody mother-in-law fish. Little black hole. F all from black hole. There we go, finally got something a bit different. Little black hole. Little mother-in-law fish, they reckon. I'm not gonna give it to anyone, I'm gonna let it go. But yeah, same deal man. That little plastic, lightly weighted, back of the pontoons. But the pontoons that have pylons, that have pilings, that have the little pillars that they're driven into and held on with. Everyone that's got that's got more structure, more structure, more fish. That's been the key, you know? I'm just, I'm rushing past pontoons now just to fish those ones I've identified, so. That's a pretty cool capture. I'll take it. We'll get it back in the water now. Hopefully get a couple more before the sun goes down. assisted cast goes a mile oh eat it oh really mm, just like I said on the corner current wind pylons he was there just didn't get a hook in him oh. You've really got to make the most of every opportunity. All these three sessions have been filled with missed opportunities. Oh, and again. How did you not get that in your mouth? Yeah, it's got him that time. Ah, little guy. Give us a big one.
Yes. Oh, you're kidding, aren't you? Oh, damn it. All right, that's the end of three sessions. Uh, I'll throw all those three into one. No point boring you with a couple of fish, you know, a couple of brim sessions, so I'll put all that together. That was fishing in Pacific Harbour, canals, Bribey Island. Uh, yeah, the main stuff I've learned is that they like that smaller rock, that finer substrate. Uh, it's hard to pick on a high tide, I can't tell where it is right now. Um, so on a high tide, it's definitely those pontoons with pylons, you know, with a bit of structure on them. That, that hard structure to the bottom just seems to hold more fish, so, yeah, it, it's definitely something I've been targeting uh, this session and, you know, most of the others, so. Uh, you know, that pre-fish, I didn't film. I've got two solid brim on the brim prawn. Uh, fished that first session, purely all brim prawn, brim prawn, blah, blah, blah purely all brim prawns, um, did all right. That session on the maracou crabs, I'm not sold on that hook. Uh, I think the gape's too small, uh, something I've got to work on. Now this session, uh, all gulp, so bit of action, missed a heap of opportunities. Anyway, if you like that, uh, give us a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Uh, if you have already subscribed, make sure you click that bell. And yeah, if you didn't want to know anything, yeah, hit us up in the comments, you know. And definitely, yeah, Steer clear of these floating pontoons with cables, man. It's so annoying, especially when you're running a GoPro pole. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers.